Yeah, I thought it was a hard-fought game. Uh, I got to give Robert Morris a lot of credit. Um, you know, these guys have been playing really well. Josh Corbin's an absolute uh, great player. Uh, range as soon as he got, um, I think, into Youngstown, uh, right? As soon as he hit that exit, uh, he's ready to roll. Uh, coach Tool, great coach. Got a lot of respect for him. Um, his teams play really hard. I thought we just made a few more plays in them and uh, stayed connected. Yeah, it hadn't been good, uh, to be honest with you, Neil. You know, that was a huge game, uh, and we kind of let a lot of people down. So I think, you know, to, to move on and get a win uh, in the next one um, is, is what this group needed. Uh, but now it's, you know, life on the road. We got three straight road games. Uh, this league is very imbalanced. Um, you know, not too many leagues in America where you play three straight road games. Um, so we got to be mentally uh, tough. Cleveland State's a really good team, um, and we got to be ready to go. Yeah, I thought Coach Tool did a nice job of uh, mixing in his one-three-one. We knew they were going to do that. Um, they play man and they play one-three-one. He's played, uh, you know, he played more of it tonight than, than against other teams. Um, so we knew we practiced, you know, for two days um, for it. It's really not our offense, Neil. It's our defense and our connection, um, right? We score second most points in the conference. At one point, we were second in defense. I think we're – I don't know where we're at now. But it's really about defense and toughness. I, I give our guys a lot of credit tonight. We out-rebounded them by 12. Um, DJ Burns is one of the best rebounders in the country. Um, you say what you want. The kid goes and gets every rebound. Um, phenomenal. He's uh, top five in the country in uh, double doubles. Um, so you got to to have a guy like that. He puts so much pressure on the D. Neil. He goes every time. Uh, one of the best rebounders I've seen. So how are you able to stay so calm under pressure, especially when you know tensions are rising um, after that technical foul was given out to Thompson? You know that's obviously a key moment. Yeah, you know it's not easy. Um, I don't think for a coach uh, to be honest with you. Um, to, to, to do that. Uh, I've really tried uh, to do a much better job in that department, right? I think there's a time in timeouts when you, you know, you may need to get fiery or get your players' attention. Um, as I've gotten older, um, you know, uh, I've tried to get better with that. I've studied it. I don't think this generation responds to that. I don't think you fight fire with fire. I think you have to be calm. Not sure what was said there. Not sure if the that three in the corner was a foul. Um, Definitely we'll go back and look at it because those were some critical calls and some critical time. Um, but no matter what the call is, we got to keep playing, right? If it's, you know, we, he didn't touch him or he didn't, you, you got to keep playing. But so we'll talk about it. The line on our game, um, I try not to because it would drive me nuts. Um, I hate that it's on the ESPN um you know, the ESPN.com, because they do like to see the, the games for our conference. Um, so I, I hate when they have that, um, because I, I, I don't know if, you know, kids are looking at that or not, um, but I, I, I try to stay away from it. Um, also I, I don't think so. I don't think any referee's going to um, make calls based on a money line. I could tell you that. Coach, um, I'm sorry. Coach, uh, three players with 20 or more points tonight. Is this kind of where you're seeing leaders become leaders out there? Yeah, you know, our team's different. We do it in a variety of ways. Um, you know, we have guys that can score inside, guys that can shoot threes. Um, we have a little bit uh, of everything. Um, we do need to start getting certain guys going. Um you know, but those big three guys have been pretty steady. Um, you know, DJ and Ziggy um, and Brett Thompson have been really, really good the last four or five uh, games. Um, but we still need those other guys. Um, and we've we've had a lot of guys win games for us offensively. We don't really talk about it. Um, it's really about our defense, and I think that's going to be the difference. Coach, last one for you. Yeah. Next three are on the road. Yeah, I don't like it because you you know you don't get to see your fans. Um, I wish we'd play one home, one away. I'm hoping we can get Julie to to agree to that for next year with the league and figure out these who who has their building, who doesn't. Um, but it's going to be difficult. Cleveland State, Milwaukee, Green Bay, all good teams. Yeah, 
Yeah, I thought we did a much better job of guarding and getting out and running. Coach Tool was um, get, going to that one three one, so it get, you can get stagnant. Um, we got good looks, you know. Sometimes people don't think we're running offense, but my offense against a one three one is kind of free flowing. We either ball screen it, we matched, which we just literally come down and we match what they're doing, and we we should have two on ones. Um, we do baseline runner against that. Um, and we got good looks, Neil. We just we weren't getting the stops. The game wasn't fast enough for us. And when we finally got down the court, Brett and those guys uh, got stops. Uh, he was running and getting layups and getting kick out threes. And DJ was bringing the ball up and, and giving it to Ziggy. And EJ and that group, John Lovelace, gave us good minutes. Uh, it was a good balanced group. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I think you recruit to that uh, toughness, DNA. You know, we've had great rebounders here um, and guys quick to the ball. Our athleticism, I think, really helps us get a lot of those balls. But a lot of times when you're at home, you have an extra step. Um, and we were a little quicker to a couple of them. Uh, but I thought Robert Morris, uh, you know, they gave us blow after blow. Uh, those kids should keep their head high. They're going to be a tough out. I, I think they're as good as anybody and they can win a conference tournament. Oh, they beat him? Mm. Oh, it's nothing surprises me anymore in this uh, horizon. You've been around it now a few years. Um, it's a crazy league. Um, it, it really is. I, I don't think our league gets nationally the respect. The brands in our league, it's a shame. Um, but it's a phenomenal league, so I'm not. I think, I, like I said, I think it, the whole thing's going to go down to prior to the final two games. Yeah, um, you know, they're playing a few different guys. Um, you know, he's went to more of some bench guys. Um, everybody changes us throughout the season. Um, you know, we've got to get uh, really locked in tomorrow on the scout, to, to be honest with you. Our focus was on Robert Morris. Um, but, I've, you know, we kind of all know each other by now. Um, and I think it's the team that can really execute their game plan. And what, what are you going to try to take away? You know, Christian Anaruna is a great player. Tay Williams is really good. Drew Louder is really good. Um, they got good good supporting cast. Um, you know, they've got some really good players. Coach, any update on Thompson? He got a little bit stinky. I think he's fine. He he was in the um, locker room getting some treatment. I think he'll be okay. I see JB saying that he opt out. We're hoping uh, he, he can maybe go Saturday. We'll know in the next 24 hours.